What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl. I'm looking a little dusty, but you can look at my nails. So, we got the cornbread cracking. And it might be loud in the background, but whatever. Breakfast on deck, vegan butter. But I just wanted to show you my grocery haul before I make a new recipe which will be the pea soup and it will include a lot of these vegetables um on the weekends i cook once that's once a week and here's the food that i'm consuming um this is cauliflower here for the cauliflower wings and my greens getting their roast on and i'm gonna try some of this hooters flour now the doctor or the Minister of Wellness will be very grouchy about this. But anyway, I tried to attempt a nutrient-dense based diet. So a lot of people tend to think that this is expensive. This here was Goya beans, which is $1.27. Of course, your Roma tomatoes will be $1.29 a pound. I got this cauliflower here at Walmart for $2.00 and 48 cents um no actually if you get the fresh one it's 218 but if you get the pre-chopped and ready to go action it's 258 so i got two of those already had black beans on deck because i recycle so i mean rotate so um but i added the pinto beans for a variety and then, of course, purple onions, which is like you'll get five for two dollars. Or you could get the sweet onions, which is you get like six for two dollars. This is leftover potatoes, my multicolored potatoes that you saw in the breakfast. That was on sale for $2.99. So any chance I get to incorporate some color in my ish, I do. Of course, the um, veggie pasta was on sale for one dollar and then they didn't have the fresh yams which are generally on sale for about 25 to 50 cents per pound during the holidays but everyday action if you're preparing for one person i mean really two people could split five potatoes for five dollars so if we add this all up you know two three leftovers four five six seven eight nine ten eleven dollars um you're gonna be you're gonna be eating good for a week so i really don't spend much uh the cauliflower this is the other cauliflower that i already cleaned it's very important to clean your food my parchment paper of course my pineapple i got this last week for a dollar um, but it was really, really, uh, it wasn't ready to eat. So I waited a week till it browned some more because when your pineapple, um, is more yellow, um, it's ready to eat. When it's really, really green, it's not ready. It's not really sweet. She's not ready to go. Leftover cashews for your sauce, Kroger. And, uh, I'm gonna hook up some beans and rice from my OG. Now... You're going to block. We're just only going to show the good. So, I got my frozen peas and whatnot. Hold up, hold up. Okay. This is what I wanted to show y'all. So, I got this uh, sausage that I incorporate for um, whatever. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it is that I'm including. But this is going to be breakfast for Christmas. This is leftover vegan cheese. It's kind of old. I don't know the date. Let's look together. Oh, it expires in a few weeks. But I've been away from cheese for a while, so I really don't uh, crave the consistency anymore. Um, I just don't. And you got to keep your greens on deck. I usually get the bigger one, put it in um, the Ziploc bags. But since it's the holidays, I got a little baby one. Oh, and my little vegan dogs. Oh, something new I'm going to try. This is Bee Free Quinoa and uh, Chia Seed Wraps. Um, Gluten-free, dairy-free, no added sugar, vegan-friendly, high in fiber. Um, and if we look down in the ingredients, um, it has a lot of those words. We Well, no, it doesn't. 
Well, it has that gum action and the tapioca seeds and all that. But pretty good ingredients to start off, uh, well, before I start the cleanse. This was $5.79, but this could last a little over a week if you slice her up. So I'm going to be using this for my Christmas action as well. I usually only eat this kind of, well, as of the past few months, only incorporate this kind of action on the weekend. So I like the filled roast because it's generally made from vegetables. A lot of the other products like the sausage have um, soy in it, which I got to get away from. But these ingredients here, if you pause, are really good ingredients. So, but this is a little bit more expensive, so I don't get as much as I can, um, you know, would like to incorporate. But having a nutrient-dense based diet, um, you really want to have more whole food action. So, um, for the mac and cheese for this week... I'm going to be making uh, a vegan mac and cheese, so this is the cheese I will be using. I really kind of don't like it, and I do like it. It just depends on what it is, but that's just me. Um, it, I, it's not real cheese. So, I'm not vegan yet, but um, I did get some eggs for uh, my cornbread. So, But I do basically eat a vegan diet for the most part when I make my sandwiches and of course almond milk ain't nothing new so that's my action anyway that's what I got so I'm gonna come back with the split pea soup as you can see I'm soaking my peas getting them ready to go I'm gonna dice a lot of this up so it'll be ready to cook and uh, so we could have us a nice healthy a uh, week it's about adjusting as we go so we're not perfect and the attempt here is to show you that you really can uh, incorporate uh, a healthy diet day to day um, and it's not as costly as you think it is I got my little vegetarian sausage uh, with uh, a leftover oh my god I'm burning my toast Oh, the toast is burnt. I burned my toast on the damn YouTube. Well, let's see, y'all. Oh, I'm out of here. Uh, my potatoes, my veggie cornbread, oh, my toast. So, I need to dedicate another two minutes to focus on not burning my toast. To have with my stuffed green bell pepper with lots of pepper. I told y'all I love pepper. Um, and of course, sauce. We have to have our sauce. This bell pepper includes black rice, Neely's, jerk, and black beans mix. This is the one that included the red mix as well. Um, and then, of course, the black bean and kale mixture that includes kidney and black beans uh, for your protein intake. This is not a vegan sausage. This sausage is Morning Star. I'm coming over here because I need to get some more tough. Morning Star action. Um, but it does include um, egg and milk as you can see so you know one thing at a time okay brothers and sisters one thing at a time oh got a little mask in here gotta stay cute i rinse her off put her on my face but i'm getting me some more bread because your girl done fucked up the toast oh i might as well share i use this butter this is the butter that i'll be using I've been using the olive oil butter. Excuse the washing machine, mom. Okay, it was too loud in the background. Well, it was loud because it's Saturday and this is when we wash clothes. So dairy-free, soy-free, 
um, almond oil butter. It tastes identical to butter, so I'm not missing a damn thing. Except my toast that I done burnt. Well, anywho, y'all, I'll see y'all in a minute. Peace, love, hair grease, all that jazz. And we're going to come back with a little bit more of health, real talk, real talk, and healthy food. Peace. <laughs>